Some tips for using Flipgrid um, tools involve the traditional of just recording yourself here with the red button. But also in the upper right hand corner, this icon will give you a reminder of what your teacher has posted for this assignment. You can turn that on and off by toggling that switch. And this allows you to add a sticky note. So if you wanted to add a prompt or something that would help you to remember what you wanted to say, that also won't be recorded, but just kind of helps guide you as you're making your recording. In the bottom left three dots, the options include also uploading a clip. So if you want to use your camera on your phone instead and upload that as an MP4 file, you could do it. Um, you might want to read you know, mirror yourself. Not sure why you would do that, but um, also for an assignment, it's highly likely that you would not mute yourself, but you can do that. And you can also record a screen in Flipgrid as well. Some of the effects that might work well for you, um, you might want to add a filter. Um, just like you can in Instagram or Snapchat, you can make that look a little bit different as well. Um, also, some of the effects involve um, being able to add a frame around yourself or adding some emoji stickers and text and so on as you're speaking. But you can also add those kinds of things within the board option. So if you don't really want to have a video of yourself, but instead want to use the board option, you could, for instance, click this little notebook paper or one of the black chalkboards and so on. And then right now, this is as a split screen. But if you wanted to expand the notebook part, it's still recording when you click this button here, it will still record your voice. And then you can also use some of the other tools along with it. So if you wanted to draw what you were talking about, um, you could do that here. It works pretty well with um, your touch screen on your Chromebook. Or if you wanted to add a sticker or text, you could do that as well. Um, you can also upload an image. So if you wanted to upload a ping or a JPEG file, that maybe would be the cover of your book, for instance, that you were doing a book talk on. And then the voice of your background um, would be playing. Um, so that would be the recording of the video there. So just a few options of ways that you can use Flipgrid. Remember, you would just click this to record and then follow the prompts to finish and submit. Good luck recording.